In this video, we'll look at what happens to the labor market when there is a change in demand for final products and services. Well, let's start with the labor market equilibrium. We have an upward sloping labor supply curve and a downward sloping labor demand curve. Let's label the horizontal axis with the quantity of labor. And we'll label the vertical axis with the wage, AKA the price of labor. And then we'll label our e original equilibrium, W1 for the original wage and L1 for the original quantity of labor. So let's look at what happens when there's a decrease in demand for pri final products and services. When the demand for final products and services decreases, then the demand for labor to produce those final goods and services decreases. Therefore, there's a decrease in labor demand, and labor demand shifts to the left from LD1 to our red LD2. Let's label our new equilibrium W2 and L2. We can see in our new equilibrium, there is a decrease in employment with that decrease in L, and there is a decrease in wages. Let's look at what happens if instead there is an increase in demand for final products and services. Well, when demand for final products and services increases, the demand for labor to produce those things increases. We have an increase in labor demand, and therefore labor demand curve shifts to the right. Looking at our new equilibrium, we have an increase in wages and an increase in employment.